we are now going to take a look at the Dremel 3D printer. And having purchased this one about two and a half years ago, the department has found that this has been a real popular printer for the students. And I hopefully will show you why this has been the case. Uh, you know, we talk about proof is in the print. Well, first and foremost, it's, it's a very, very reliable and impressive print quality that comes out of this. Um, this actually was a stethoscope created by our summer intern, Miley. Um, she did some great work on that, multiple parts. Given that we are in the COVID era, I wanted to show you uh, some of the, the PPE equipment that we created. In fact, we're going to be printing out some of these, uh, these face visors face shields. Um, this particular model is the Prusa model and we're going to print that. We also have a, a prosthetic hand that we printed some time back and a number of these pieces came off this Dremel. So you see that you can get complex moving parts off here and when you think about the price of this, this is a $1,900, so not quite $2,000 printer. That is pretty impressive um, given the price range compared to something like our $35,000 printers, these two. Um, so in addition, the, the build chamber is another really compelling piece. So you can lift up the, the lid and open the door and that build chamber, that build envelope is a 10 by six by 6.7. So quite nice. It is an enclosed chamber. So that helps keep the warping or deformation down to a minimum. It is a heated bed. So um, you see that that piece right there actually heats up and then warms the bed up. In addition to the heated bed, um, if you are having a hard time having the print adhere to the bed, we have used either a glue stick or even double-sided tape to really make sure it, it stays down. You also can print it with, um, with a, uh, a raft or a skirt. There's a couple other ways you can make sure that it's adhering to the, the bed um, solidly. The, the material is, it's proprietary. So you do have to purchase the Dremel um, soft, or excuse me, the Dremel filament. It's not excessively expensive. So the nice thing is this does keep uh, the cost of a print for students in the 10 cents per gram with a dollar minimum on this machine. So this is literally about a tenth of the cost of our dimension and our 3D Systems 460, the powder printer. So price is a very reliable piece or a very compelling piece too. Um, we are using PLA in here, although there is a filter in the back there. Um, there's the fan and the filter. So you can run this at home. It is a, a, a quiet and safe machine. And lastly, it will run off network, but we have been running it just off a of micro USB. So you'll you'll load the model and then in the software and then just basically transfer it over into the USB, pop it in, come in here and you see some, some very elementary buttons on here, very simple to use. We It, it is a self-leveling bed, so that's really nice. Very easy to replace the filament, um, easy to check and provide maintenance on the machine. But when we want to build, we can just go to the build. Here's the, uh, the micro USB and we can go in there and we can look for our file. And once we find it, we just hit print and it would start. As I say, we're, we're going to actually build some of these visors. So, Let's go ahead and go back to the, the Dremel software and load up those models and get them prepared to print.